Today, I'm going to be exposing a very dark agenda that's deceiving so many people in the church, and not many people are talking about this. If you've ever done yoga or you were curious about yoga, I want you to watch this video all the way to the end. And soon, I promise you that your mind is going to change. What's going on, guys? It's Big Nick back for another video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel today. Before we get into today's video, if you guys like Christian content, please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel down below if you are new, and turn on my post notifications so you never miss a new video. Without further ado, let's get into it. The common lie about yoga is that it's just stretching and it has no spiritual connection whatsoever. However, many Christians who believe in this and partake in yoga are worshiping the enemy unknowingly. Some people have even gone as far as to create Christian yoga, which is... <laughs> beyond me. I don't know how this even happened. If the Apostle Paul saw what Christians were doing today in America, we'd definitely be getting a letter. For those who don't know, I actually grew up under Hinduism. My full name is Nikhil Kiswani, which is one of the most Hindu names you could ever have. As an ex-Hindu who attended the Hindu temple for almost 18 years, I can assure you that you are actually worshiping Satan when you're engaging in this practice. For hundreds of years, my ancestors worshiped Hindu gods and faithfully studied the Bhagavad Gita, which is basically a Hindu's version of the Bible. So when I'm talking about this subject regarding yoga, I know what I'm talking about. I don't want any lukewarm Christians in the comments trying to argue with me about this because the reality is I know more about Hinduism than you. Period. With that being said, let's talk about what yoga actually is. Yoga is a spiritual practice that comes from Hinduism and it's not merely stretching. Yoga is derived from the Sanskrit word yuj, which means to yoke. In this practice, you are yoking yourself with the divine deities of Hinduism, and this is done by offering poses as a form of worship to them. The origin of yoga can be found in the Shiva Samhita, which is a collection of verses from the Hindu god Shiva that lists hundreds of different yoga poses that yoga studios still use today. Towards the end, Shiva addresses his wife Parvati and tells her that yoga is the science of Shiva, further emphasizing that yoga is a gift from Shiva to the yogis that practice it. It reads this, O great goddess, the science of Shiva is a great science. It has always been kept secret. Therefore, the science revealed by me, the why, should keep secret. Shiva explains later in the Shiva Samhita that once you read his teachings on yoga and practice them daily, from the beginning of his verses all the way until the end, you will achieve success in yoga and receive emancipation. It reads this, the why one who reads it daily from beginning to end undoubtedly gradually obtains success in yoga. He attains emancipation who honors it daily. When Shiva is talking about yoga to obtain emancipation, it's to avoid being reincarnated. Hindus are taught that doing yoga poses to Shiva will free you from the samsara cycle, which is known as reincarnation. The origin of yoga is not only from this Hindu god Shiva, but the practice of it is to avoid reincarnation. Not only is Shiva a false god, but reincarnation is also a false belief. Since the Bible teaches us that there's only one true living God, and you either go to heaven if you accept Jesus Christ, or you go to hell if you reject Jesus Christ. So a Christian participating in yoga is merely following a ritual that was created by a demon who Hindus worship as Shiva. Not only does Shiva have a serpent coiled around his neck, but he also carries a trident that is identical to Zeus's trident and the devil's trident. This is because Hindu gods are merely a repackage of ancient Babylonian deities, and despite the lies that Hindus are told like I was in the past, Hinduism is not the oldest religion it's not 8,000 years old it's 1700 years old. They literally just made up history. They just stole Babylonian practices, rebranded it, and controlled the narrative that this existed before any other religion. We clearly see here that Shiva created yoga, and any Christian that tries to justify participating in this practice has sadly made their allegiance to this Hindu deity, which is not a god, but a demonic creature. Shiva's wife, Parvati, who's also known as the goddess Kali, was also a demonic creature that demanded human sacrifices to receive pleasure. In the Kali Kapurana, it says this, if a human being is sacrificed, following the rules laid down on that behalf, the goddess remains pleased for full 1,000 years. And when the three men are sacrificed for 100,000 years. So I guess there's like a reward system where, you know, the more people you sacrifice towards Kali, the happier she gets. It's absolutely crazy that people worship these things. Like, these things are evil. But no, Christianity is the white man's religion, right? If Christianity is the white man's religion, I'd much rather be in the white man's religion than worshiping a demonic creature that wants human sacrifices to be pleased. Which, by the way, Christianity took place in the Middle East and Israel, but Hindus will constantly try to tell you that it's a white person's religion. <laughs> in fact, this is one of the reasons why human sacrifices in the Hindu temples is still a problem 
problem that is going on in India today. It baffles me that Christians want to adopt the principles of Hinduism here in America by doing things such as yoga, when you can clearly see the fruit of Hinduism completely destroy India. India has a $3.4 trillion GDP, and they still operate like a third world country, when in reality they have the financial metrics to operate like a first world nation. But this Hinduism stuff sets them back by like thousands of years. There are many different poses in yoga, one being known as the Kali Mudra, which is to worship the goddess Kali that likes to eat human beings. Imagine worshiping a deity that wants to eat you. Each yoga position represents worship to a specific Hindu god, and the whole point of doing these positions is to become one with that Hindu god, or to yoke yourself to that deity. It's not merely stretching, and if anyone's done yoga like I have in the past, you would know how uncomfortable these poses are. <laughs> when someone does these yoga positions, they are giving Hindu demons authority in the spiritual realm to enter their temple or their body. Any Christian that has participated in yoga in the past needs to receive deliverance. The devil is a master at creating perversions of the true way that we need to worship God. And he created yoga as a way to be unified with his demonic kingdom rather than being unified with the one true living God. If you ever participated in yoga and you want to repent for this and receive deliverance, repeat this prayer after me. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I renounce every single Hindu practice that I participated in, such as yoga and other practices that are not of you. I repent for worshiping these gods and I confess that you are the one true living God. I pray you would deliver me from any demonic spirit I allowed in my temple and I command every demon that had legal right to dwell in me to leave now in the name of Jesus Christ. I reject all unions, covenants, and altars that I made with Hindu deities and I destroy them by fire in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you for the person that's watching this video on the other side of the screen and I command every single demonic spirit that may have came in through yoga or other Hindu practices to leave right now in the name of Jesus Christ. If you pray that prayer, let me know what happened in the comment section below. It's very important to renounce these practices because the enemy moves off of legal right. And contrary to popular belief, a Christian can receive a demon, especially if they're engaging in a satanic practice. I actually received technical deliverance when I came to Christ and I got delivered of Hindu spirits, which confessed that they were trying to destroy me. So for anybody who's still considering yoga, just understand that these demons don't like you. <laughs> they definitely didn't like me. The spiritual realm is real and I thank Jesus Christ for defeating all of these wicked entities when he died on that cross and resurrected on the third day. Now we can use his resurrection power that he freely gives to those who believe in him to defeat these forces of darkness that try to wreak havoc in our lives. Many Many Christians are sadly being deceived into practicing yoga, but I thank the Lord Jesus Christ for delivering me from Hinduism so I could sound the alarm in the church that we need to stay away from this practice that God absolutely hates. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you made it all the way to the end, I want you to comment down below, we rebuke yoga because we do rebuke that thing for real <laughs> if you guys want to financially sow into this ministry you can do so by clicking the offering link in the description or you can buy my merch which is also linked in the description i'll see you guys very soon for another video i love you guys so much may god bless all of you in the mighty name of jesus christ take care and peace out ain't a game jesus who i claim yeah he reigns cross up on my chain brand new lane heaven my domain the world I gained, but it ain't